Hello, Floss Tube. Um, I'm Elizabeth Martinez, Fanta Stitches, and uh, this is my Floss Tube update number 234. Today is the 21st of May. Um, and my uh, my younger sister is uh, out in Boston uh, watching her daughter graduate this weekend from New England Conservatory. Um, those of you who watch our Three Sisters creative uh, videos, uh, she was talking about that and uh, talking about going out there. Um, anyway, so um, this is a channel about cross-stitch and that's what we're going to talk about. Um, let me, sorry, let me turn off my, the sound on my phone just in case you know, somebody's trying to reach me. The only people who really call me are, you know, my favorite friends trying to sell me a car warranty for a, a car I, n you know, I don't have. <laughs> um, okay, so um, some several things are going on. Um, I was trying to do... Um, sort of a, a mania you know thing and I kind of have not done any of that uh, exactly and this week because I was busy doing other things doing other things I can't talk um, and I have you know plans coming up for um, possibly the you know for the rest of the month but also you know possibly some mania stuff but um, other, my other Whipco project and um, Cross Stitch Camp, which uh, is coming in June, July, and August. I'll talk about a little bit more about that for those of you who might not know about it. Um, but so this week, I, um, you know, since the beginning of the month, one of my Whipco uh, goals, one of the things that was called was the Western Biscornu by Tiny Modernist. And that's this here with the little saguaros and cow skulls on it. And um, I talked about it because I was, I was, I thought for sure I was very close to being done. <laughs> so last week I talked about how I had done one of the, the saguaros. I had done it the wrong way. So the stitches were all crossed the wrong way. Well, I went back and fixed it. So I'm finished now with the front. I see, you see I did the little back stitch line and that actually took me longer than I, than I thought it would. But so that's done. So now I just have to do this back stitch line around the back side, and I'll be finished, which is one of my goals. My goal for this project for Whipco was to finish it. And this is on, I think, 18 count Ada it's it's soft but it's it's very pilly like um like it, it doesn't seem like it's made of cotton it feels like it's made of something synthetic I don't know enough about the different you know fabric manufacturers to, to know what kind it is or whatever it is but um but it feels you know kind of like I said kind of pilly and um somehow I don't know, synthetic or something. It doesn't feel the same as like the typical Ada cloth that you get that's, uh, you know, sort of more um, this cotton, 100% cotton or whatever. It doesn't have that same feel and it's not like, you know, stiff or whatever. So I don't know if it's a synthetic blend of some kind, whatever, but it's, you know, yeah. Or if it's, or if it's softer because I dyed the fabric. Um, sometime ago. I think I, I think I coffee tea dyed this at some point. Um, I've had this project for a few years. I know I worked on it um, at uh, Stitch Nanigans. So that was 2019, I believe. So I think I've had this at least that long. Uh, but anyway, so it's, I almost hit my goal. It, it when I do this backstitch line around the outside, I will be technically just, you know, finished with all the stitching. I just, that's 
all I lack right now is the the outline around the the back part and then this will be done and um, so there's that and um, so in between that somewhere along in there I, t I did this uh, bookmark that I talked about last week for my uh, my niece for her graduation uh, one of her graduation gifts so this is the the bookmark that I designed and um, I think I'm gonna put it on the Etsy shop uh, three sisters creative our, our Etsy shop that we have uh, at, uh, at some point so you know if, if for whatever reason if you're interested in it you can you can purchase that but um, the quote is a Ben Franklin quote and it says either write something worth reading or do something worth writing and so there's a, you know, there's a little set of books and there's a little peacock and, uh, and the quote there and a simple border. Um, so I designed that, like I said, for, for my niece. So this is the, the bookmark, the finished bookmark. And, um, <laughs> Funny story about this. So I, I did this last week, uh, this past week at some point. And on Thursday, um, my sisters and I did our, our Three Sisters Creative video. Sticks and Strings, that's what it's called. And, and I proudly showed off my, my bookmark that I made and, um, and I and I had the pattern, and I told uh, talked to my sister, my older sister, about putting it on the Etsy shop. And she was looking at it, and she goes, "Are those H's backwards?" Yes, yes, they were. They were backwards. So this the H here in either and something and worth. These H's were all backwards I, for some reason some glitch in my brain I had made them backwards and you know I had 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 when I was working on this you know weirdo little font you know um I at first I had the h's just square you know like a regular h just square um and I, then I decided well I want to you know jazz it up a little bit so I, I I moved the the one leg of the h you know at an angle and it's a little bit easier to see here. So, but somehow I, I did it backwards. My brain, it was just a, I don't know, a little glitch in my brain. And so when you pointed it out, it was like, you know, like that story, the emperor has no clothes, or you know, the emperor's new clothes. It was like, yeah, all those anxious are backwards. So I had to go through, not only go through the, and fix them on the pattern, which was easy enough, but I had to go through and, and restitch them. And, and I restitched just the H's, but that meant like, you know, so I cut the, 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 uh, stitch, but then I had to like, uh, restitch on either side of it. So, so. It was all very nicely all done in like basically like two strands or you know it was a double strand I, I, I back stitch with two strands so that it would show up a little better but then um, you know like I, I was able to use do all the letters you know in with with in one go in one pass but so when I went to fix it I didn't want to restitch the whole saying right so I just cut that little that where the H was but then I had to like sort of re-anchor everything and you know but anyway so I went and and spent the day fixing those H's and so now it is correct either write something worth doing <laughs> I mean worth reading or do something worth writing <laughs> and like, like my sister said if it's Worth doing, it's worth doing twice, you know.
So there is the Ben Franklin quote bookmark. So and and the the little peacock that I, I did here when I first designed it I I didn't even think about like doing the beak or the wing the, the back stitching here, I or the or this little little crown on the peacock, so that's why it's kind of squished in here because I I didn't even think about that until late, until I was stitching it and I thought you know that peacock needs a little crown, and also these feathers here this dark blue is etoile it's the same color as this blue book over here. It's a little darker than the, this is a DMC, uh, sort of a cornflower blue, I think it's what it's called. And this is a, a darker, darker blue here. You can see the, the difference here. There's this little cornflower color and this darker blue. So originally, um, this uh, sort of greenish yellow that his, the, the peacock's little crown and I are, are done in. I was going to do that um, where where the dark blue is. But it was too close in, in shade to this yellow uh, stitch and this light blue stitch. It was kind of very, very much the same. So I did the darker blue, but then I, I had this etoile just handy. And so I went ahead and used it. So it has that. So if you see it, you know it's hard to tell just glancing at it here on the screen, but in person it has a little bit, tiny little bit of shimmer to it. It's not much because it's very small, you know, just two stitches here and there. But uh, but yeah, so there it is. It's all done finally. <laughs> uh, so there's that. And so then the other thing I worked on uh, my second whip go goal uh, uh, called number pattern was this old clipper strip. I worked on this last week. I took it about last week. And I'm uh, so I finished all of the this, you know, tan light brown color. And let's, I finished all of that. You know, I had just this light down here to go. So that's all done now. So along along the edges of, of the that tan color is, is this little beige color. And then the ecru of the sails. So my next, for today basically, um, I'm going to work a little bit on that. But I think... <laughs> I, I wanted to do the brown um, that is used like for the masts and stuff like that um, because I was kind of tired of, <laughs> of doing all of this and I wanted to put these little pennants in. There's, you can see there's one here and one here and one here. And I wanted to put the, the dark brown like mast things um, there so that so that those pendants to make sure I had put the pendants in the right place and you know and the the brown is you know just a few stitches here and there so there's just the little the little mast heads and then the ends of the yard arms and then you know a couple of the glimpses of the mast here and then the spars and you know stuff details around the ship so I want to do that, but for the, I I couldn't find the I couldn't find the my bobbin of this brown DMC color. It's all in you know charted in DMC, um, and I knew I had that color because when I very first started these my four tall ship patterns, I had made a, a like a master list of all of all the colors that were called for for all four of them, and I had this list. And so I knew that I had that color once upon a time, but in my little DMC bobbin boxes that I had, it wasn't in there. So I, I knew it was in one of my, uh, one of, one of my charts, either, either the, the, one of the ship charts or some other chart, but, um, I got these before I got the, uh, I started on them before I got that thread stash uh, app on my tablet 
And so not all of the, my older charts, um, they might be in there, but they're, but not all the threads or whatever are in there. So, you know, you can, it has a feature where you can kind of see like what other projects have that thread. And, um, so, you know, so I would have been able to tell like, you know, where to look for at least. Um, but of course I hadn't put them all in there yet. So anyway, so I went ahead and got the, the blue and red for the, those little pennants. And I found, I did find the brown. It was in my uh, Voyage of Discovery chart um, that I worked on mm, in February. Yeah, so so I think I'm gonna work on that as well as that other uh, little beige color. Because I, if I work on the those little the spars and masts and stuff like that, you know, there's like I said, there's not a whole lot. Um, it's just you know a little bit here, a little bit there, and um, it's not until you get down into the the body of the ship down here that it's uh, that there are long stretches of that color. But nothing like this, <laughs> like the, the sails. But anyway, so uh, so that's coming along. And I don't know that I'm gonna, it, you know, if I if I meet the goal for this one, it's gonna be um, alongside my other my third one because there are three called for this month. Um, but but you know I've I've made pretty good progress on this. I think I've only stitched seven or eight days out of the ten that were my goal. So. I'm working on it. Um, I had been kind of, you know, when I've worked on these, I've, I've worked on them kind of monogamously um, for, you know, like 10 days at a time. But, um, and you know, that, and so like, that's why this month I was trying to squeeze in some uh, mania type uh, starts. And like I said, I, I didn't do much of it this week. Excuse me one minute. Pepsi, Diet Pepsi, the elixir of life. Anyway, so my next goal that I'm starting on soon, my, um, I, I, I had um, figured that the 22nd was the, you know, the latest I could start on that to get in my 10 days. So, uh, to starting tomorrow, basically, uh, I'm going to work on my third uh, Ripco project, which is Pandemic by Long Dog, Long Dog Sailors. And I had started uh, right around here in the middle. So this is the area that I'm working on. And I didn't get very far when I started it, but so hopefully 10 days will, you know, get me a little further out. Uh, so, yeah. And I'm doing it basically all one color. I had, I had originally thought, you know, I could do all these blues, different blue colors, and you know, different shades, all the DMC blues that I could find. And so far, I just had, you know, I've I've only done a little bit in this area, and so I think, you know, I might just do just the one color, but, you know, maybe I can do the 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 frame areas in a different color um i don't know these animals you know there's i don't think i've i don't know, know that i i don't know if i stitched these owls yet i don't know if i've gotten up that far um but maybe i can do those you know do a different color there's deer there's a little bunny up there and so I don't know I have to look at what I've done so far I think I've just you know got the like the flower areas but I don't think I don't think I've done these owls yet I don't know I don't know but anyway so that's the next thing coming up this month so one thing I mentioned was um cross stitch camp so um last summer 
Sherry Truex Burger. Um, she has a floss tube channel. She she records pretty much every like maybe two weeks or something. And um, last year she she uh, and her husband had they had they had had a knitting shop and um, called the Wooly U I think. Um, but then they, they, so they added some cross stitch and then eventually, um, sold the, the, sh the knitting store and did just the cross stitch store the way I understand it. So anyway, but last summer she did the, uh, cross stitch camp, uh, project. And so each month there was a different challenge and each month there were some prizes and um, it's, it's a virtual camp, of course. There's no no place to go to go do it. You just, you know, everybody signs up or whatever, you know, just does it. And you can put your, you know, hashtag cross stitch camp or whatever. And um, if you post your project progress on Instagram, she can see it. it the way she, the way uh, her, you know, tracking works and everything she she wants it on instagram so the idea is you start your project that you know on the first of the month and you have until the 30th or 31st of the month to finish it and uh, so there's one project for june one for july one for august and you can participate in all three months or only one month you know just depending on what you have time for what you want to do whatever so um but there's so there's a different challenge for each month and um so uh and if you want to to know more about it you can watch her uh her videos um which are just under uh cross stitch camp um i think no call excuse me colorado cross stitcher colorado cross stitcher is what she goes by is her her floss two channel um, but anyway, golly. Um, so, uh, for the June challenge, um, you, the challenge is to stitch something that celebrates a holiday. Um, the July challenge is, uh, stitch something that has a, a different kind of finish, like a biscognu, something that other than just a regular, uh, straight frame, you know, so, so a biscognu, um, uh, a pillow, um, something that, you know, just a different kind of finish. Maybe the, you know, the cap of a, of a container, you know, or a drum or something like that. So you don't have to fully finish the object, uh, for the challenge. You just have to do the stitching, but stitching something like a biscornu, you know, for instance. So if I, if I, uh, or even I guess the bookmark, you know, something like that would work. But plus, so for this Bershkornu, if I had started, if I started it on July 1st and finished it that month, you know, just doing the stitching, then that would, that would, uh, meet the challenge. Um, if I had time, I could do the, the, the actual Bershkornu, you know, it's very simple. But anyway, so, so, uh, so the July challenge is a different kind of finish. Um, and like I said, you just have to finish the stitching. You don't have to fully finish it. And the August challenge then is um, something new to you, a new designer, a new fabric, a new thread, whatever, um, or new specialty stitches, um, et cetera. So um, at the beginning of the month, you just post a picture of like, you know, your supplies basically this is the pattern i'm doing these are the threads i'm using this is the fabric i'm using and you know and uh and like you know you want to probably want to state the designer and the design name and all that kind of thing um and then if you want to do i guess if you want to do post update pictures during the course of the month you can but but um you want to do you know your ending point at least, you, you know, to see, or, you know, when you finished it or whatever. So anyway, those are the three, um, challenges for 
plus stitch camp. Um, and what's going to be a little challenging for me is working on the WIPCO, whatever WIPCO projects are called for those three months, as well as the cross stitch camp projects. And, you know, so I want to choose something that is smallish for the cross stitch camp uh, project. So, um, what I'm, this is what I'm sort of, what I'm thinking of. Now I had pulled a bunch of projects to work on for Mania. And you know, it's odd because, <laughs> and oddly filling, one of the, I had made a list of projects for, that I was uh, thinking about for Mania. I had all, all these new uh, patterns that I had and um, to sort of, mat, I wanted to, to see what the stitch count was, see what fabrics I had, and match them up as much as possible. And so I had a list of, um, I don't know if I, if I brought it out here with me or not. Hold on one second. I think I did. But so I had this long list of like, I don't know how many projects. I think not quite 31 projects, but um, close to that. Excuse me one minute. I guess I have it. Yeah. But um, so I had gone through and and written down the the sizes of each of these uh, patterns, you know, and then um, did I have the fabric to go with it? Did I not? Um, did I want to work on it or not? You know, whatever. So I guess I have it. Okay. But, um, but so one of the, so I had made, I made this list at like, 24, 25 projects, something like that. And, uh, excuse me one minute, I got something in my eye. Mm. Um, so I sat at the computer and I had written, you know, written everything down. And so at some point I had this pattern in my hand because I had uh, written down the stitch count and all that. And I sat there with my cross-stitch calculator uh, program and put in, you know, the stitch count and, you know, what size of fabric I would need. And so I was going through all my fabrics and, you know, matching everything up. And this one particular pattern is called, oddly enough, Lost and Found. And it is a Silver Creek sampler pattern, I believe. Um, I think it is. Or else it's Lindy Stitches, one or the one or the other, I think. I think. Anyway, um, but so I had gone through and like I said, I you know, listed it. it it's on that list, but I can't find it. I can't find that particular pattern. I don't know what I did with it. Because I thought, well, maybe it's here, maybe it's there. And I went through all my stuff and I can't find it. I, I found all the other ones. All the other uh uh new patterns that I bought that I was considering for mania, whatever. And, um, yeah, I can't find it. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm not going to be doing that one anytime soon right, until I find it. But, um, so anyway, the ones I was considering for cross stitch camp, um, for the celebrate a holiday, uh, challenge aspect, I have, um, I was thinking about doing this. Um, I have a few different things. I have um, this one. It's called Shh, Not a Creature Was Stirring. And it has, it comes with these, I got this at the attic. And it comes with the little, it's basically uh, free with the purchase of the buttons, right? So there's a little mouse button and the little stocking button. So here's the, the, the sleepy mouse and the little stocking. And all you stitch is this part that says shh. 
right? And then you put the buttons in there. It's, it's very small. It's like, what is that? Uh, 49 by 40, right? Um, so I was thinking about that, but I was also thinking about um, without showing the pattern, sorry. Um, this one here, Snowman's Treat. And this one here, Gnome for the Holidays. Now these would work for either the June Challenge, Celebrate a Holiday, or the uh, July Challenge of a Different Finish. Because this one and this one are both ornament finishes. So something like that would work. The the little mouse thing, um, celebrate a holiday, right? So there's that. Excuse me. Um, also in the same vein, celebrate a holiday. Um, and a different kind of finish, other than a frame finish, is this um, good must I be. Um, it's kind of, it's very uh, old fashioned kind of looking and and all that. Uh, good must I be, so Santa will come see me. Um, and like that. And I don't know if it's, you know, like it's finished as a, as a little pillow or as a an ornament. It's hard to tell from this picture. Um, it looks kind of like it's done as an ornament if you look at these little strings here. So, um, and the stitch count is just 67 by 48. So it's pretty small also. Um, so there's that. And again, um, it would fit either one of the June or July uh, patterns. And also, it would actually also uh, fit the August challenge of a new to you uh, design or whatever, because uh, the person that designed the, the uh, that Santa is somebody I've never used before. Also though, um, a new designer would um, would be this um, hippity hop. Um, this is um, Lindsay's stamp series, Primrose Cottage Stitches, and I've never done anything that's a new designer to me too. But it's also very small. It's only um, I want to say forty three by forty three. I, I should have a, a bunny category, all my bunny bunny charts, because I have a whole bunch of them. But anyway, and then the other thing I was thinking about for August is one of these Mail Hill kits. Possibly, probably this one with a B. Somebody, and somebody had shown these um, recently on Facebook or something, one of the stitching groups, um, that they had done, done these. Um, so I was thinking about doing this with a B. I, I think I did a Mill Hill kit many moons ago, but um, but I don't I don't I don't actually remember doing it. I have like the pattern, but I I like I have no real memory of doing it. <laughs> so I might have done it and given it away, and I, you know obviously I, I don't have the finished product. Um, but so I don't know. But that's yeah. So I have to think a little bit about what I'm going to work on, um, and uh, probably not the Mill Hill thing because it's just you know with all the beads and all that. It's uh, yeah, it's pretty intensive um, finishing aspect of it. So, yeah, um, we'll see. But anyway, um, that and um, hopefully I can get to pandemic uh, and uh, 
this weekend will start on pandemic and hopefully I can do maybe at the same time uh, the clipper ship to finish the 10 days uh, on it and um, that Western is going you and we'll just want to finish that outline and I'll be done with it and I will have met that goal so anyway I'm 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 still struggling to meet those goals and and I still want to do the the May mania uh, starts and some of them at least um, do a little bit more on those um, I don't know uh, excuse me I don't have any real haul um, last week I talked about how you know dyeing fabric and all that and I think I bought you know just little odds and ends here and there um, but uh, but no real haul um, and again if uh, uh, oh uh, uh, the other thing um, Hildy Johnson uh, I had uh, mailed her your package off Hildy um, the other day uh, so you should be getting it if you haven't already gotten it you should get it be getting it soon and um, but yeah so so hopefully you know I'll, I'll be starting on pandemic in the next uh, day or two and um, doing a little bit more on the clipper ship and the best room is going you get those finished and maybe I can squeeze a, a new start in here or there, you know, at least one, one, one thread or something like that uh, to get those, some of those other things started just because. And then choose something for those uh, three uh, cross-stitch camp challenges. And sometime in, uh, in a few weeks, um, my sister and I, my younger sister and I are getting ready to go to Albuquerque for um, a youth symphony, uh, the Albuquerque, Albuquerque Youth Symphony uh, reunion kind of thing, um, you know anybody who's been in the in the youth symphony, you know, uh, is is welcome to participate in this uh, reunion thing. So uh, I was in it when I was uh, in in high school, and and Naomi was in it also. So. And uh, so anyway, we're we're both planning on on uh, participating in that, and um, I think I think I had signed us up to play in this uh, alumni recital kind of thing, so we have to practice for <laughs> for, for that, as well as uh, you know taking a look at the the parts that you know that they sent us to work on. So. Um, that's coming up very soon and then my niece uh, will be coming home for a little while uh, for this uh, for the next couple weeks for this month and then before she goes off to do all her summer gigs or whatever um, so that should be uh, going on at the end of this month it's be fun and anyway so I think that's all I have for this month for this week excuse me um, and we shall see. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. <laughs> um, that's yeah. That's probably it for for this this week. I've just been scrambling. I feel like I've been scrambling, um, trying to f finish. You know, because because the Western British one, you I again I had to do it twice because I made uh you know mistakes on the on the the saguaro part and you know so i had to redo that and but you know yeah but now it's all correct it's, yeah. i just need to do that back stitch outline it'll be finished so I, i'm repeating myself now so i shall see you next week and um until then happy stitching we'll see you next time bye